What is up, my veggies? My name is VTR, and welcome back to another video from VTR Scooby Frights. Yes, it is another review, but I'll try to make sure tomorrow's isn't a review. So, but today we are going to be reviewing, um, today we are going to be reviewing Orphan. Yes, it's taken me such a long time to get around to reviewing this movie, but it's been something I wanted to review for a long time. Um, and also since Orphan First Kill recently came out, I want to review the this movie. So I remember back when I first saw this movie. Um, well, well, let's get into the plot real quick. The plot is this family wants to adopt a child. They wanted to adopt this little girl named Esther. And they start, start running it. the mom starts realizing there's something weird about Esther and not something wrong with her and bad things start happening. I don't want to give too much away if you haven't seen the movie because it is really good, especially with, the, with what happens in the movie. And I really don't want to get away give it away if you haven't seen it. Now with that being said, Orphan, I think is probably in my, probably in my top 12 favorite standalone horror movies. Well, it's not like a standalone now, it's got a prequel, but it was until I got a prequel. But I do like where this movie tell its characters, the drama, and just the way the movie handles itself. Take, it takes a lot of interesting ideas and puts them into this really um, simple horror premise, but also takes you for a ride. And also there's times in this movie where like the characters, like, like, like the mom character, you feel really bad for her throughout a lot of this movie. It's because of the way things have been being bent around her and she's being treated bad and everything around her is just not going out in her favor. And then you get the father in the movie that she's like, he's, you understand like why he thinks the way he does, but he's also not, he has his issues too and you just want to scream at him sometimes while you're watching him. Uh, and then Esther, Esther is probably one of the craziest horror ant antagonists I have ever seen. I love Esther, and the actress that betrayed her is like, I think she was like 13 or something like that, or maybe it's younger than that, uh, I don't know. But she was, for that young of an actress, she portrayed this character so well, and it blew my mind. And seeing the behind the scenes of her talking about the role and everything is just, wow, it's so different. And the way she's talking about this character is like, wow, I've never heard a kid talk about a role like this. It's crazy. Um, and you have, like a, I believe, an actual deaf um, actress in this, which is really cool. To, uh, for I haven't really seen anything else that has a deaf kid in it, like horror-wise, except for A Quiet Place. And... I really enjoy the direction this movie takes. Now, uh, the kills in this, I can't say are anything over the top, but I do think the kills that we get in this movie are handled well, and I really feel like like, it doesn't need to be over the top. It does, because the way the atmosphere of this movie is built and the way you're sitting on edge every little bit being like, you're trying to figure things out and like, like, and it's also like, your brain is racked around a lot about how, how this movie does what it does and how this movie does what it does and it's like a great horror film. Like, I really think the movie does a lot well and I can't think of that much of a negative to say about it because like I don't really think there's anything to really hate about it and it's besides the stuff you're supposed to hate like the way the mom's being treated and the way the dad's acting and I'm supposed to like those things and, and it just does the movie such justice I think uh, I don't know what it is set in the movie around like a winter setting don't know what it is about that. I love movies set around winter and the horror movies in winter and snow. Um, I love that type of stuff. But this movie, I feel like, does exactly what you want it to do, and it is enjoyable, like pretty much the whole way through. And 
when it gets to what it gets to, if you've seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about, you're like, what the heck, and ah, uh, like, it's, it's, it's a little like, what, what, it's completely insane, the way what happens, happens, and I don't want to give it away if you haven't seen the movie, uh, because Orphan is such a fantastic horror film, and I think it is definitely a modern horror classic, I think. I think this movie does what it comes to do very, very well. I think the characters do what they need to do very, very well. And if I had to dig for anything negative to say about the movie, I can't really think of anything. Like, I don't think there was really anything of the movie I didn't like. Maybe they had it drawn out that, like, everyone was believing Esther a little too long. Uh, maybe. But that's, that's just... And... Like, the movie has so much intensity to it. And I think that's where this movie shines and where the, just the atmosphere of this film is going. And you're, like, just you're on your edge of your seat and you're enjoying every bit of it. And, like, you're really into the emotions of these characters and it really sucks to see some good characters, nice people, get killed in this movie and it really, it really sucks and it's like, and also the, the deaf actor uh, little girl is so adorable, like I enjoy watching her, uh, there's also a little boy in the movie, I don't remember his name, but he's also a, kind of plays like the jealous, um, uh, of Esther character, which I guess like maybe he could have a little more to do, I think, but for the most part, there's not really, I, my, I'm just trying to dig and find things wrong, because there's nothing really to say, I can't say this movie's perfect, it's, it's got, it's flaws, it's just like, I can't think of them at the moment, because I do love this movie, and I think it is such a good, good? A uh, good work of cinema, not okay, I don't know why I said cinema, but I think it is a good horror movie. And if you haven't seen it, I would recommend giving it a watch if you haven't, because it is a good movie. Uh, and I haven't seen the prequel yet as of recording this, so I'm really excited to check that out. Um, probably going to watch tonight. Uh, but overall rating, this is really hard actually. And I'm going to go ahead and straight up say, because of the way the movie does its structure, and the reveals, and the kills, and the atmosphere, and the characters, and the emotion, I really got to give this movie a 4 out of 5. Like, I'm, I know I'm a little more generous when it comes to some movies, but this movie, trust me, you will not, if you are a horror fan, you are not going to have a bad time with Esther. I mean, sorry, um, Orphan. You are not going to have a bad time with this movie because it is exciting. It is a good movie. And if you haven't seen it, go watch it. That's all I got to say this for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, you guys know the drill. Um, new videos are going to be coming soon uh, for Retail Creepy Frights. Specifically, not just horror related stuff. So, uh, I, mean, not just, I mean, not just movie reviews. I know you guys will want some more besides that. So, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!